hundreds of baby tilapia. Holy cow! Look at that bucket full of red tail catfish. See you, buddy. <laughs> What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. We got our red tail catfish here and they are getting huge. So what we're gonna be doing today, I told you guys this a while back, we're gonna be putting them in the backyard pond to pretty much live the rest of their lives. It's a massive pond, natural as possible. So these guys will absolutely thrive in there. We have a bunch of other fish in there from big bass, paku, oscars, koi fish, just a bunch of different exotic fish. So these guys are gonna fit in perfect, but before they make their way to the backyard pond, we got to stock up on some bait. Oh, dude, perfect. All right, look, so we got one breeder, but along with that breeder, there are tons of smaller ones, and that's exactly what we're looking for. We did get some bluegill that we do have to throw back, just a bycatch, but we got some minnows in here. We got some tilapia and a few other species. Ah. That was a pancake right there. Much better. Oh, dude. Something big in here. Look at that net. Look at the boils in that net. Did it get out? Oh, no, we got him. What are those, bro? More giant tilapia. Yeah, and some bit. Oh, we got some shad. Some little shad. Well, okay, yep. Now these guys, we did get some shad, which is really, really good bait fish. We're gonna take them, bring them over to the cooler, and then two bluegill. Obviously, I have to go back. As we get back in this canal, you can actually see them. Bunch of little mollies in here. We're gonna try to get them. I was right on them, dude. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh, look at those boils in there. Dude, you know what? I think we casted a baby tilapia, bro. Oh. Hundreds oh. of baby tilapia. Oh. Holy cow, and mollies, bro. Oh. oh my gosh, this is insane. We're gonna load this bucket up with mollies. And this is perfect for the backyard pond because these things breed like crazy. I mean, literally hundreds of mollies. Look at the colors on this one. So some are male, some are female. That right there is a female, very plain, nothing too fancy. And then if you look at the male here, it's actually got a long fin and a bunch of colors. Really, really cool fish. There they go. We are back at the backyard pond. We got all our baits in the cooler here. What we're gonna do first is acclimate them. So we're gonna just add some of the pond water to this cooler. And that's just in case the temperatures are a bit different. And while they're acclimating, we do have some palm pellets. We're gonna toss in, kind of get everything full before we add the baits. That way they don't eat them. And they can have a chance of reproducing in the backyard pond. Tons of life in here though. I mean, it's unbelievable. So most of the fish you see coming up right now are mostly bluegill. They're just huge, but there are koi fish that come up every now and then. Of course, our big old Paku. I think I see a koi fish right there. See him? See oh, it? The yeah, yeah, he's like, it's very hard to see when the sun's not out, but I did just see him come up. If you look on this bank here, you can actually see right there, there's massive caves throughout the whole bank and it goes from like two feet to six feet. Instantly drops off and it actually holds like a little ledge. So all the bigger fish and even smaller fish can go under there and hide from predators. <laughs> now, before I dump these all right into the pond, let me show you guys just an example of what we have here. I mean, it's crazy. A bunch of these colorful wild mollies are gonna be thriving in this pond. I'm sure we're gonna see them all the time. Even if you look on the bank right there, you can see like little tiny baby ones. And that's just from us putting them in prior. But the good news is they're obviously reproducing. Here we go. Probably over 200 bait fish going into the backyard pond. Oh, 
We ended up restocking the pond with a bunch of bait. We now have to get our red tails in here. All right, they are ready to go, man. Never seen them so flared up. But... Oh my, just bit the net, dude. Yeah, they're ready to go. Wow. They're so strong. <laughs> Got him. Boom. Look how pretty that fish is. Baby red tail catfish, future pond monster. Right into the bucket. The way to do I it is get them head first. Once they swim into it, just like that. It's another big one. Oh, last red tail. It's gonna make it hard for us. I think this is actually the smallest one in there. Those other two are a bit bigger. Gosh, he's smart. Got him. The last red tail catfish. Such a pretty fish. He's a lot darker, wow. Or maybe they're just getting lighter as they're in this bucket, but they're not gonna be in here too long. We're gonna get them acclimated right now and then get them into the pond. Get them in here. And then I'll add some of the pollen water. We'll do this probably every 10 minutes for about 30 minutes, and then they should be set to go. Let's get these guys in their pond. Let's go with big guy first. You gotta be careful because they do have barbs, but we'll do this as best as possible. Here we go. First red tail catfish ever. Oh, listen. <laughs> All right, buddy. Your new home. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Right down into the depths. Oh! There he is. He's like trying to find a little like cave. Bro. Look at him cruising. Oh my gosh, bro. Look at all the bait. That's all the bait we just put in here. Whoa! What was that, a baby peacock? I don't know, something fast. Dude, look at all the bait we just put in here about an hour ago. They're all swimming right on the side of the rocks here. Try to do two at once. That's not gonna happen. All right, buddy. See you later. See you when you're a big pond monster. Boom. Last red tail catfish. Now we don't have a name for these three, but if you guys want to drop down a group name for our three red tail catfish. See you, buddy. <laughs> they just look so good with the water being clear, their red fins, their little spots, they look amazing. And like I said, guys, as time goes on, they're gonna get bigger. But with that being said, we now have our red tails in the backyard pond. We also have a bunch of bait we restocked. These guys are gonna be thriving. We'll see you in the next one. See you!